I'm gonna show you more unique and well-designed furniture you can do in Minecraft since you all have asked me for a second part. If you haven't yet watched the first part, you can click the pop-up tab on the top right or down in the description. The first furniture is a ladder table which you can make with a trapdoor, a ladder, and a debug stick. You can get the debug stick through slash give command with cheats enabled. What I like about this build is you can place decorations just like you normally do on a solid block because of the trapdoor's placement. Similarly, we can make a ladder shelf by adding one or two layers on top and still be able to place item frames in between them. Or, do the opposite and make a hanging ladder shelf. There's just a lot you can do with them. The second one is featured in the first part of this video where I showed a rail table using rails. You can achieve this by placing rails in an iron trapdoor. It's very confusing at first and takes some time to get it right, but in the end, it's worth the time building. The third build will be another table, but this time, it's going to be a resin table. All you need is any wood blocks of your liking and blue stained glass. The blue stained glass in this build is too dark because I'm using a shader. So if you're using a shader like Zeus for instance, you can use cyan stained glass if you want a better color and lighting. It depends on what shaders you're using. For the fourth furniture, it's a survival-friendly, functional minecart drawer. If you're looking for an alternative storage option other than chest and barrel, this is the one to go for. The only downside is you can only build this facing east and west as the minecarts tend to face only in that direction. Cons aside, I love the simplicity of the drawer and if you ever need more storage, you can add another one beside it which would function like a double chest. The fifth furniture on the list is a hutch cabinet. If you don't know what that is, it's a cabinet in which you can store plates or dinnerware that are commonly used for display. I'm using dark oak planks for this cabinet, but you can use any planks if you like. For the white banners, I'm going to add a subtle black outline to look like a blade. For the sixth build, you can create a carpet using piston, so you get some fascinating pattern designs compared to using a regular carpet. Some may argue that this looks like some tubes or pipes used for industrial build, which makes sense considering the textures, but in my perspective, I see them both useful for either build team. There are more patterns you can create using pistons, and one of them is randomly placing the pistons in any direction but feel free to experiment with them and create your own design.
If you're looking for curtain alternatives other than banners, gypstone is another way to make one. This won't totally cover your window because it's placed on the sides as if the curtains are folded, but if you don't like it, you can always go back to traditional banners. Next up, I'll be making another lamp design but uses the new frog light block combined with a bell and an arm stand. I chose ochre frog light for this one because I figured it would match well with the gold color of the bell and the gold armor on the stand. Last but not least is a wardrobe design for the bedroom. This includes two barrels, spruce planks, spruce and oak trapdoors, and four banners. Underneath, I'm going to add two armor stands to the wardrobe to make it useful and cover it with a sign. If you want me to create more designs of this wardrobe, just let me know in the comments below so I can make a dedicated video of just building this. And that's all I have for this video. Make sure to thumbs up and leave a comment below for feedback and suggestions. You can follow my socials in the description and if you want to have a chat, you can join my discord. Thanks for watching, have a great rest of your day, Bye bye